endocrinology research involves using nano gold for cancer therapy. Nano gold is particles of gold on the nano scale, and what we know about cancer therapies thus far, um, chemo, radiation, surgery, they're all very invasive and they have very unpleasant side effects for the most part. Um, in this particular area of research, scientists from Rice University are um, using nanogold to actually cure cancer and to be able to eliminate and kill cancer cells. So today we're just going to um, get a brief introduction to how this therapy works. So in this diagram here, we can pretend that this patient here has a tumor in its right side. Now a tumor is a cell that you don't want in your body, so that's what we're trying to get rid of. And we have nanogold being injected into the body. So the nanogold is injected into the body and is able to migrate towards the tumor cell using protein markers. Once the nanogold has made it to the tumor and surrounded the tumor, a near-infrared laser is shown through the body and is absorbed by the nanogold. And since gold is a metal and the laser is powerful enough to heat up that metal, that eventually destroys the cancer cells, leaving the surrounding cells unharmed. And then the cancer ultimately should go into remission and the cancer cell is destroyed. So that's an overview of the therapy. And today we're going to explore what type of lasers, what type of wavelengths, and then what type of nanogold we'd like to use. So here I have a model, and there's a three LEDs here, and we're going to pre we'd pretend that they were lasers. And we want to see which type of laser, what type of LED can make it through our skin. So what wavelength can penetrate human skin? So I'll start with the blue. As you can see, the blue does not make it through my thumb. Nor does the green. However, as you can see, the red penetrates through my thumb, illuminating my thumb. So the red would be the correct choice of wavelength to use for this treatment. Because if it can't make it through your body, it's not going to be effective at treating the cancer. Now, we are going to see which type of nanogold, what size of nanogold would be appropriate to inject into the body. Here we have large particles, small par medium particles, and small particles. And the goal is for the nanogold particles to absorb the red light. So I'm going to sh show or sh shine the light through the tubes lengthwise, so the long way, not through the sides. Okay. Here I have three solutions of nanogold. Large nanogold particles, medium sized nanogold particles, and small sized nanogold particles. And the reason that none of them appear gold and they appear blue, pink, and red is because when they're at the nanoscale, they're so small, the particles, that they're able to reflect and absorb light and give off different colors. So now to see what the um, red light can do for the <laughs> nanogold particles, we're going to have the red vial first, and we're going to shine the red light through. And as you notice, the red light does not get absorbed by the red nanogold particles, so the smallest size nanogold particles. So this would not be a good choice for the cancer therapy. Next, we're going to have the pink or the medium sized ones. And when we shine the red light through, Again, it does not get absorbed by the nanogold. And next, and finally, we have the blue nanogold particles, so the largest size nanogold particles. And when we shine the red wavelength through, you can see that there is no, there's no light getting through, and that the blue is able to absorb the red light. So going back to this diagram, we can see that when you have the blue nanogold particles in, the red light is able to be absorbed by the blue size nanogold, so the large nanogold, and then that will be able to heat up and then to destroy the surrounding cancer cells.